uh, Vinesh Patel, um, and think to from the primary care perspective, because that was quite different in terms of some of these uh, some of these issues. How safe and protected are, are staff feeling now? I would I would say unfortunately not, and I think um, um, actually a DA UK survey that was just recently done last week kind of reflects that. Um, there's quite clear evidence both from all frontline doctors that uh, many were thinking of leaving because of the fact they didn't feel safe um, and the lack of PPE putting lives at risk. And 71% of the uh, GPs who responded said that was the reason that they wanted to leave. Um, and and and. I would say that going into the winter months where we've been calling for knowing that we get the usual winter pressures that we have and normal conditions that overlap with the symptoms that we see with COVID, we are underprepared in primary care of how we are going to manage those patients. We don't have the right facilities, the right infection control facilities within primary care to manage them. As I said, when we first came with this pandemic, there was this wish of um, hot and cold sites, but without the understanding at a ground level of the complexity and um, what funding was needed for that. And that hasn't changed. I haven't heard anything different. And we're now coming to the middle of September. And actually, if this second spike hits along with the winter pressures, I don't think primary care has been given the right support to be able to zone these patients appropriately, have the right PPE, and therefore protect the services that we need for our patients but also protect our staff.